From the foundation of the house is a subterranean passage said to have extended to Warwick Castle. The PG Addict, part seven. Tunnel maybe under here, going out. <laughs> As you can all see, I'm addicted to photogrammetry. Every time we come to Guyscliff House, we find out something new. Today's Monday the 5th of April. Bank Holiday Monday. Always working, obviously, so I'm just going down to Guyscliff House, as normal, to meet Ross, because we're going to scan Guy's statue and have a little look inside the chapel, see if we can scan in there as well. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Have I done what? Transferred what? Transferred your little pass, or if you just put it in the window, so it's not the ledge. Facing him. Oh, really? Carl Brothers are there yeah. as well? So, who? Really? Carl This was the Earl of Warwick's only living heir. Yeah, exactly. And like, the mates, one down as far as but 90 times. It's really concrete, hard so. to compress. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gold. The look of the size so of So that's those. why he's getting the digger out. To, to get this, to the tunnel. This is this all yours? Right, now we came. Hey. Is this all yours, or is this? Where's yeah, this well, from? Well, yeah, yeah, it's been passed over. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah, and. Uh, oh, you did? Yeah, and then my mate Dave took it over. Right. Mm. Oh, what? Ah, right. Okay, that gives an idea. The seat of Lord Algernon Percy. Right. So that's somewhere in the eighteen hundreds. Was it? Oh, it? Foundations forty yards. Forty yeah. yards. That's a hundred and twenty foot day. Oh, 40, 40 yards. yards. When was That's this? still good to look at, yeah, wasn't it? If it was going in a direction. But they could have just come up against the blockage. Serious other level that's beneath it that we can't yeah. get to. That's... From the foundation of the house is a subterranean passage said to have extended to Warwick Castle, a distance of one and three quarter miles, the greater part of which has fallen in. That's very vague, isn't it? Most of it's fallen in. Yeah, How but they're not going to do that. That's about all they're going to say, isn't it? In one well, of those things, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you can. It's only... a shame that they didn't say from the cellar room yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that little bit. From the foundation of the house. Down, yeah. You know what I mean? Foundation you of the house. Well, I mean, for, for when they say the majority of it's. Case, all that means is you can get 40 yards and that's it. The you widow. Well, it was the widow of the man who wrote the book. book. She yeah. had this, you know what I mean? Yeah. She gave it away. Yeah. Which oh. book was it? It's called um, Guy's Cliff, Back to Its Roots, it's called, yeah. There's a lot of pages I need. I know, it just keeps going, you know what I mean? But every little thing to do with it is labelled as... Oh, with, with, no, with no flu on it or nothing. Now there's a hole in the floor in that room. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. So we build that support and structure. And that's got a metric over it, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right, it's a oh, it's these puppy rooms. Every time we come to Guy's Cliff House, we find out something new. Absolutely amazing seeing all those documents were made. Like hundreds of a guy's life work, basically, researching Guy's Cliff House. And um, we're going to scan it all, digitise everything. And we're just talking to Aid about future plans that he's got for digging out different rooms because we've now heard that there, there's more. Uh, there's more reports in the local paper in the paper cuttings that there's some sort of tunnel maybe under here going out. So we need to dig out some of these rooms. Guy's statue erected by the executors of Richard Beecham, Earl of Warwick, about 1439. Sir Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, who had it painted 1439 to 1471. Right, somewhere in this 30 years it was painted. <laughs> Can't someone come up with a better date? Oh. Totally don't remember him being that big aid when I came in before. Yay. What? It on it. Okay, so this is where I've got to ask some questions. Was he carved into the ro actual rock? Yeah, that's the bedrock. Really? But I thought he was a movable piece. No. The chapel's what? probably been built around him. Yeah. Yeah, because you can see this is all block work around oh, it, so that's not bedrock. He's been in one massive block that they've moved. Really? Well, okay. One yeah, one or the other, yeah. yeah. Okay. What well, looks like Portland cement. <laughs> on that side. Right. Portland cement there. Well, you think someone's ripped the yeah. guy off, the, someone off this wall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah, it looks very 
uh, disjointed here, doesn't it, compared to this bit? The stones don't look very... Uh, I literally say from about there, the whole sections. Mm. You know what I mean? It's interesting that that's had to be braced. As well. That's a Lancet window there, right? Lancet windows are early. Yeah. Right? How early? Normal. Oh, down to the bit where yeah, we're in the, the basement. Once, the, once the still house got, got rid of so it. was just the upstairs of the... There is something here that might have been support for his arm. Yeah. Coming out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Crossways. Yeah. If you ask me in the Civil War, when the troops were all being billeted, I think they've come in here and they've gone, I'll have, they've got pissed one night and they've gone, I'll have that sword yeah. and they've, yeah. they've smashed the shepherd's statue. And that's a, a bishop's uh, mitre that it's obviously showing. Yeah. So he was a bishop, they're saying. Yeah. Of and that what's the date. 448 thing about them? I'm not so sure what that is with the cross on the top of it, though. That is the secret controller for the Guy's Cliff Tunnel. This is an add on. This will be some secret room we've never seen. There's yeah, a the, hole in the floor. The chapel, <laughs> the, chapel end, the chapel wall thickness is this. Yeah. yeah. But that was the end of it. Yeah, yeah. And then it was open straight outside. And they added this on, which was the original which brewery. Were, which is when they cut into the rock to make the passage. Well, not the original brewery. It's, it became a brewery. Yeah, it became yeah. a brewery, yeah. yeah. But it's all just been lined out. So, uh, obviously, yeah. You know. So this is, old, this is newer. This is new. Mm. Compared with that. Yeah. Then another door. Yeah, because this entire section of this all is, is an add-on onto the chapel. Yeah. So there probably wasn't nothing here. No, because that's what I'm saying, when they built or that there was archway. something, or there might be something, but it was really old, whatever it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Aid, what's through there? That goes up to the... Uh, the board, stairs? ...board room, yeah. So it was just the upstairs of the... If you look on the outside... Is that an outside door? See, this is bullshit, this door. This is the start of the arch, which carries on. And it was a huge door here. Yeah. So this was, you could fit a wagon into it, you know what I mean? Really? Straight in. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And then it goes up to yeah. the bit yeah, at it the goes top. goes up to the bit at the top, which is the old board room. That we've been in before. It's the same sort but of centre just, room. According to the masons... Oh, so that goes to the corner of the room. According to the masons, all that was here, there wasn't a modern stair. There was like a, a steep sort of step ladder made out of wood mm. that went up to the, Can I have the a look? room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, because it's all different now, isn't it? I just can't remember where this goes. I remember yeah, going upstairs. The the room. If you look at this door on the outside, it's big. Yeah. But it's, it's now it's just a tiny little door. Yeah. Hey, is that looking out into the courtyard that way? Yeah. Oh no, I've never been in here. Oh yeah. No, never. Never, ever, ever. Yeah, yeah. So this was just a platform room. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go, look, look. Oh, okay. So that, the other wall. Yeah, you come yeah. that. See? Good. Yeah. And you could, the old door, open yeah. out like that. You, you could just you get, get your wagon in. Though, yeah. But that was the idea, because they were brewing. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. What happened to the old doors? That's a good question, isn't it? We're here again going lower into the basement, into the lower areas of Guyscliff House. Warm down here, eh? I'll come, I'll come and live in your cave. Uh, this is a, a bit of a crap copy, but I'm just going to, you know what I mean, take you to this. So that is a statue. Right. When you blow this up and clarify, I've blown this up. And originally an early Iranian god, yeah, mm. that gets adopted by the Romans, yeah. Um, and Mithras was uh, born out of rock, right? Followers of, followers of Mithras for a temple would look for a place that was rock, yeah. Right. Of water, <laughs> right? Yeah. You'd, ideally with a spring close by. Yeah. Yeah. And they would have a chamber, which would be in a cave. Yeah. Oh. Right. Cloisters. And within a, within that cave, 
there would be a recess like a tomb type thing where a follower would be kind of reborn into that uh, cult they called it the cult but a cult wasn't a isn't a cult like we think of a cult mm. basically the old world of cult basically just meant the religion of yeah right. so it's called the cult of Mithras yeah could it be in cloisters that bit could have been cloisters that I think is an indication that this site was lay, linked early on in its life with Mithraism right. which spread all across Europe thanks to the Roman legionaries they just took it everywhere yeah <laughs> And what? Shut up! Where are you going? Hang on, Ross. Tell us about these little places. Oh, for God's sake! What? <laughs> what? Wow, this is old. Ross, where are you going? Wait a minute. Are we allowed? I don't know if I can fit. Oh my god. Is this where we don't get you don't get a tour around here, do you? Oh, this is a clock. Fucking hell. Look if we go right as the spire. What's through this door? What? <laughs> oh, that's oh, in there. What's in there? It's the, it's the little room behind the main bit. The one we scanned before? Yeah. Do some of the in the stairwell. Yeah, 1694 there, and a 1687, and a 1711, and then 1800 maybe there. God, some nice cool stuff. I'm just going to go to preserve the memory of the name of Guy, Earl of Warwick, who after he had conquered the Danes waging war against his country and had gained himself enough of warlike glory retired of his own accord into the cell near to this little chapel formerly inhabited by the holy saint debricius yeah, yeah really <laughs> it said retired of his own accord into the cell that in this place where when he was gro growing old he had given himself up wholly to the <laughs> pious worship of God in the same place his bones might be buried after death <laughs> Richard Beecham Earl of Warwick caused this image calls it an image to be carved out of the rock. So we're just going to go into the little uh, chapel at Guy's Cliff House. Ross is going to do his photogrammetry and I'm going to do it on my phone. And we'll have a little race. We'll have a race. But... We know who's going to win the quality race, probably you with your big camera. But I'm just going to get a quick little scan of the place and see how much we can scan on the iPhone. It's been called down to Guy's Cliff House by Adrian King because he wanted us to come and have a look at some he wanted us to come and have a look at some new documents which he's been given so me and Ross are here just been checking through some of the documents with him we're going to end up scanning all of them but these documents contain some really interesting things that we've never heard before about Guy's Cliff House to do with subterranean passages more photos and illustrations that we've never seen but while we're here we're just going to do a photogrammetry scan of Guy. Guy of Warwick.
As you can all see, I'm addicted to photogrammetry. <laughs> and it's been filled in with some sort of plaster. Because if you look, it's, you know, that's, that's not an... Im oh, they've engraved something and then it's like washed over with something. Yeah, look, there's like, there's like where someone scratched something out. And now, look, you see, it's like had plaster or something. Paint. Paint. At different times. Yeah. In this place, which Henry V had visited and had destined for a chantry to be founded by himself, Richard Beecham, Earl of Warwick, in the reign of Henry VI, placed a chapel at, endowed it with annual revenue. In the same place, John Rue, when he had been elected into the College of Chaplains of Guy's Cliff by the favour of Edward Ivy wrote his Chronicle of the Kings of England and other books which are either lost or even now lying hidden in libraries. Samuel Greatheed built the tower with his own money. Bertie Greatheed, the son of Samuel, repaired his chapel itself. And there's some dates, but they're in weird numerals. Another trip to Guy's Cliff House, successful visit. Little conclusion, I'll turn the beep off. Conclusion to the video. Turns out Ross is still doing work because he's opening the gate for me. <laughs> I'm saying, turns out Ross is still, work, still working the gate. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to shut it. Uh, Ross, conclusion was that we scanned Guy of Warwick, but you got a good scan of him, photogrammetry. Yeah. Uh, and I did a little basic scan, but now we've got a bigger task, which is to scan all those documents. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Do. That's the end of the episode. Bye. Rumour has it that they're selling this building. I think it'd make a nice office or studio, or imagine a massive one floor flat apartment. Or even just one bit of it. You definitely have a hot tub on the roof. A hot tub on the roof. Absolutely you freezing out there. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, I think what they've done later is they've turned this into like a little blacksmith's area. Because it looks like there would have been another floor. <coughs> I think they've had a, a floor joist. Yeah, I reckon they've had a, 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 like a hot stone or a uh, forge or something in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there would have maybe been some steps getting up there because it would have been two levels, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if this is your old original cave? You'd have probably slept under this little recess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Which would I'd be alright with that. Catch out the wind. Yeah. yeah. From being out there to being in here.